Hi, it's the MLM for the Soul Channel. I do have a new topic for today. Before I begin, I just would like to say, may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And so people I thank have inspired me. I hope they can inspire you as well. And I will have links below this video to their sites. Here, Rabbi Shalom Arush, Rabbi Lazar Brody, Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansur, Rabbi Lon Anava, Rabbi Yuval Ovadi, Rabbi Daniel Asser, Eason Barth Black, David Sachs, Rabbi Michael Skobek, Jews for Judaism, Rabbi David Ashir, and Rabbi Ron Vane as well. If you've never checked out this channel before, I will have a link below to my first video which explains what MLM for the soul means, what it stands for, and what I'm doing. So we're in the month of Elul. So this is a critical time leading up to uh, Rosh Hashanah, the, the, the new year. So this is taken again from the weekly um, insights from Rabbi Eli Mansour, and I call this Elul is here, getting ready for Yom Hadin, which means the Day of Judgment. So the Kabbalistic sources teach that the divine name of Hashem, the Yud Kevavke, which is normally spelled Yud Kevavke, um, because he spelled, he wrote out the name, I don't say it, but anyway, um, can be configured in 12 different ways by rearranging the four letters. Each configuration corresponds to one of the 12 months of the Hebrew calendar. Um, and it also alludes to, in a verse in the Tanakh, it emerges then that each month is associated with a certain verse. And by understanding the connection between a month and its corresponding verse, we can gain greater insight into the central theme and essential nature of that month. So the configuration associated with the month of L we are taught is Hey, Hey, Vav, and Yud. So meaning rearranging the, the four letters. This spelling is alluded to in the verse in Sefer Dvarim 625. Hazot. It will be beneficial for us when we ensure when we ensure to perform all this law. The final letters of the first four words of this verse, Ustaka Tiyelanu Ki are hey, hey, vav, and yud. Interesting, right? So those are the letters he was mentioning. Thus alluding to the configuration associated with the month of Elo. It behooves us then to understand the connection between this verse and Elo. So the Ben Chai, uh, Rabbi Yosef Chaim of Baghdad, in his work, O Yosef Chai, explains that the answer to this question is found in the final words of this verse. Lifnei Hashem Elokeinu, which literally means before Hashem our God. On the deeper level, the Ben Chai writes, this refers to the period of Elo, which comes before, which, which comes before Hashem our God, in the weeks preceding the days of Rosh Hashanah, when we crown the Almighty as our King. This is the critical time for us when we have to, um, sorry, when we have the opportunity to repent and thereby earn a favorable judgment on Rosh Hashanah. Ben Ishchai notes that the word Lanu in this verse has the same numerical value, 86, as the divine name Elohim, which is associated with God's attributes of harsh judgment. The phrase Utsaka Tihiya Lanu thus can be read to mean that we are able to just transform the Lanu, which is the harsh judgment, into Utsaka, which is kindness and generosity. We do this when we ensure to observe Hamitzvah Hazot, literally this law, before Rosh Hashanah. The word Zot, the Ben Ishkai writes, has the numerical value of 408, which is the combined numerical value of the words Som, fasting, Mamon, money, and Kol, voice. So these are the terms used by the Kabbalists to refer to the three areas on which we need to focus in order to earn a favorable judgment. Repentance, fasting, charity, which is associated with money, and prayer, which is associated with the voice. If we ensure to begin this three-pronged process, Lutnei Hashem Elokeinu, in the weeks before Rosh Hashanah, then we can transform Hashem's attributes of harsh justice into mercy, compassion, and kindness. Beautifully said. Thank you, said Ben Ishchai. So let us then not wait until Rosh Hashanah. It is only the, quote, latecomers who begin their process of introspection and repentance on Rosh Hashanah. Really, I've learned from many people that as soon as, I guess, what do they say, as soon as Yom Kippur ends, you should already start, start already uh, doing that process. So we need to start now with the onset of the month of El. We're just a few days into it right now. By attending the Slichot prayers every morning, increasing our charitable do donations, and looking into ourselves to identify where we need to improve. By starting this process already now, we can help ensure that we will earn uh, Hashem's grace and kindness, and that we'll be worthy of the Ketiva, the Chatima, Tawbah, which means to be sealed in the Book of, of Life, of Good, and a year filled with happiness, health, and prosperity, Amen, and that we will also all merit to live and see the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days, and the rebuilding of our final and everlasting base, Hamigash, Amen, and thanks for watching.